a lot of native, native New Yorkers. So let me do this one. It's called The Subway Preacher. And here's how it goes. Oh, folks may speak of beer and wine up at the surface when they dine. But below on this subway line, an odd cast of characters shine every morning, noon, and night under the fluorescent spotlight. On this, the narrow stage they choose. They sing gospel style and the blues. Rap artists and bongo players, illusionists and soothsayers, all do their gigs between the stops managing to elude the cops. Palm readers go through their charade while panhandlers practice their trade. Break dancers later take their place before they too run out of space. But of all those who take the stage, there is one who is all the rage. With style, grace, and an iron will, the subway preacher, Brother Bill, his piercing eyes can see right through all doubters and pretenders too. His voice is clear with perfect pitch. To God he sings without a hitch. Though the Lord's voice nobody hears, but Bill puts his thoughts in our ears. In Bill's eyes we can see the shame as he speaks of man in God's name. Bill tells us he once lived in fear without hope as he sheds a tear for all those lost souls just like him whose gilded prospects have grown dim. Bill offers hope for those who see the kindness, grace, and charity within us each longing to gleam if only we were free to dream. He tells us all to close our eyes so that we can see through the lies and then Bill sings Amazing Grace with such expression on his face. Bill's eyes light up like two bright flames. His voice rings out the many names of those once lost who now are found. To each of us, how sweet the sound. Many voices join in the song, the first time feeling they belong as they gaze with eyes open wide, in their souls they now feel the pride. A man shouts out, my pain is gone. A lady drops her ball of yarn. It's tossed around before it lands as a child claps his tiny hands. Man, rich and famous could you be, preaching the gospel on TV. Some strap hangers in the aisle shout. Bill says that's not what I'm about. No time is there for one more tune. Like a sweet dream, it's over soon. A sinner pledges he'll repent. Bill thanks us for the time we spent. Cash and coins the faithful offer to help replenish Bill's coffer. All gifts and monies he declines from patrons on these subway lines. Save it, my friend, for those in need, for if you do, you'll sow the seed of kindness, grace, and charity, offering hope for all to see. Before he chooses to embark, Bill talks of Noah and his ark. Like Noah, he proceeds with haste, knowing there's little time to waste. Folks reach to touch him as he leaves, some grabbing at his coat and sleeves. To see if he's of flesh and blood, shall he not vanish in the flood? Wow. Thank you. Thank you.